Hey, what is up? This is Stakes 200 on uh, Naruto Shippuden episode 247 review because I know the last time I fucked up really bad for that episode. But right, this episode was a fucking amazing. The animations were fucking amazing, just like the last episode and shit. Man, I am really impressed with how they are doing these episodes so far this year, even though it's been only like a month and shit, but whatever. The episode starts off with, um, Kushina's chains coming, are still out of Naruto's body, while the QB is down and on the ground. Basically, um, he starts going all raging and shit. Fucking rips those chains off like a bitch. No, wait, no, that doesn't sound right, fuck, but what, what the fuck ever. Basically, um, Naruto brought in a bunch of Shadow Clones, and that is where the fucking epic music is beginning when he starts making shadow clones he meets like i don't even know what the fuck like a thousand of them and they each have like a rasengan well they're, they're teamed up and shit to make one but then they start going up in the air and like he was about to fucking like whip them all in the fucking face and kushina trips the nine tails like with the chain that he did not get and like and basically they fuck the shit out of the nine tails pretty fucking bad. And not even even to make that worse, even had a fucking resident shuriken after that, even fucked them up even goddamn more. I'm like while I'm watching this, I'm like uh holy motherfucking shit. Wow, wow, I don't even know why I even censored the fuck word but whatever. Uh then he um Starts pulling back on the Nine Tails Chakra, and um, we finally get to see what the QB mode looks like. Even though I've read the manga, so I already know what it looks like. And like, I jizzed in my pants so much, uh, I ran out of fucking tissues after seeing that the QB mode because it was in fucking the CGI was just fucking amazing. I don't even know how they're even gonna do do um the CGI in the future for the QB cloaks and in the future he like fucking makes a lot of those fuckers Never. but then we um get to um the other half of the episode where um Kushina is um just telling Naruto that um she was um the former Ninetales Jinshiroki but in the manga it, it seemed well, this is my opinion. In the manga, it seemed um, more epic when she did that, because, you know, the chapter ended when she said that, than it was in this episode, because, you know, in this episode, it didn't feel like it was, like, intense or anything. But then, um, we basically get to, um, see what the truth, what happened, oh, fuck, I'm fucking up so bad here, like, then we... Then Kushina starts to tell what really happened on um, 16 years ago and why the Nine Tails is in him. And she basically, um, she starts telling her story of where it basically began. She was, um, transported to, um, well, she first tells Naruto that she was from, um, the Eddie Village or what the manga was saying, the Whirlpool Village, to the Hidden. Leaf Village to become the next um, QB uh, Jinchuriki host. Um, then, uh, what the fuck? Then they tell her to meet Mito, I believe was her name, since I watched this yesterday, so no, I'm sorry if my fucking shit's messed up. But Mito Uzumaki was her name, and she was the wife of um, the first Hokage. She basically put the nine tails inside of her GD. That that's what she said. No, like that'd be fucking more what she said. See, I'm I'm so fucking terrible at jokes. Whatever inside of her. When after he fought Madara, and um, basically um. Kushina had some questions like, um, how was, she, how was she happy when there's a fucking tailed beast inside of you, 
and basically she just basically told Kushina like just be happy and get love and shit um but then we go to the next part where we go see a doctor saying that she's gonna have a baby on October 10th and I'm like what the f how how do they even know the damn exact date when the baby's gonna be born even even in today's world we're like we don't even fucking know but she got like right on the fucking spot like right away he's like this is when he's gonna be born but then we go to a funny um flick where um Kushina's like um I'm gonna be a mom and me down and I was like wait that means I'm gonna be a father it's kind of funny because when I was thinking like Minato kind of sounded like some sort of a kid and kind of looked like a kid but I know he was not but and shit and basically the final parts of the episode is no yeah basically the final part of this episode is when uh, basically Kushina met Sasuke's mom and she asked if it was a girl and she's like no haha <laughs> Sasuke you're a little bitch but the ironic thing is that Sasuke's mom said um Sasuke was going to be strong and um, a good ninja. Well, she got half of that right, at least. We all know what fucking happened there. He is strong, but no, that other half is fucked up. You know, he's not he's not a hero or anything. He's trying to fucking kill people. He should. Uh, then the final part of the last part of the episode is where Kobe, see Kobe with, um going into the cave of when Kushina is giving birth to Naruto. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that childbirth is um, a weakness for how the Biju can get out of the body and shit. Toby comes and basically when Naruto comes out of Kushina, the episode basically ends. So, um, tell me what you thought about this episode, guys. And basically most of the people who probably watch this whole entire fucking thing through or probably from my fucking school probably gonna fucking make fun of me more like no fucking joke cause they fucking found out and now my reputation is gonna go like fucking haywire now my girls are probably gonna be fucking talking to me and shit now even though like I could not even get a girlfriend they fucking hated me then it's even gonna be worse now so whatever guys until next time comment, comment what you thought of the episode you don't have to to subscribe I'm terrible and um until next time guys but end of the speechly episode and see you guys later